Hello, everyone. Welcome to IBDP English B Higher Level. My name is Ms. Ahlam, and I'm going to be teaching you this course throughout the span of this year. I look forward to having a memorable and prosperous year with you, and it is my goal to help you achieve your maximum potential as you succeed to achieve your best results in this course. Today, we'll be going over a course overview. This includes the course description, the course components, some helpful resources, and a few details about what we'll be doing throughout this course. First, we have the course description according to the guide, which you will, fee which you will find on our VC main page and in the resources section. Language B is a language acquisition course designed for students with some previous experience of the target language. In this course, students develop their ability to communicate in the target language, which is English, through the study of language themes and texts. That means we'll be looking at certain themes and applying them throughout all our units. In doing so, they also develop conceptual understanding of how language works as appropriate to the level of the course. Now, we are taking this course at a higher level. There is a difference between higher level and standard level. At both levels of language, students learn to communicate in the target language in familiar and unfamiliar contexts. We describe situations, their events, make comparisons, explain problems, and state and support personal opinions on a variety of topics. The study of two literary works originally written in the in English, the target language, is required only at language B higher level. Higher level students are required to have two literary works in the form of novels, for instance, which we'll be doing. The distinction between standard level and higher level can be seen in the level, in the level of competency the student is expected to develop in the receptive, productive, and interactive skills described. So basically, Higher level students need to be more proficient in, the, in their analysis, for instance, of literary devices and become more efficient and proficient um, in um, producing texts such as emails, um, letters of complaint, um, interviews, um, many different types of texts that we use to express our opinion. Let's take a look at the textbook we'll be using. This is the Oxford textbook. Oops, I'm sorry. This is the Oxford textbook that we'll be using throughout this course. We're, um, this course is heavily dependent on it other than the readings that we're using for literary and non-literary text. So you need to make sure you have this textbook. It is the basis of this course and it tells us exactly what skills we, we will be using. A lot of BC is dependent on English B. So make sure you have access to this. You have it also in your hand while you are reviewing the course material, especially before your externals. Now, the aims in this course. One is developing an international mindset through the study of languages, cultures, and ideas and issues of global significance. This course aims to enable students to communicate in the language that they have studied in a range of contexts and for a variety of purposes. Three, we aim, this course and I as an instructor, aim to encourage you to engage in the study of texts and social interaction. And we want to create an awareness and appreciation of a, of a variety of perspectives of people from diverse cultures. It aims to develop your understanding of the relationship between language and cultures. This is my favorite because we got to get to talk about identity and how identity is a social construction and how language is what defines it. It's a big factor in defining who we are and playing a part in how we express ourselves as well. The fifth point or aim is to develop students' awareness of the importance of language in relation to other areas of knowledge. This is integration. Where can we carry this? What other subjects can we take these skills to or connections or build connections with? Provide students with language learning the process of inquiry. Inquiry is problem posing. We look into, we delve deep into question, into questions that help us expand our areas of thought and take us to different um, 
areas of study that we might build connections with. Seven, provide students with a basis for further study, work, and leisure throughout the use of an additional language. I'll explain that more as we go throughout the course. We'll be really using, we will be appreciating our bilingualism as well in terms of the culture that it relates to and how we can express that through language. Um, the last is to foster curiosity, creativity, and the lifelong enjoyment of language learning. This is very, very similar to the IB's goal of making you a lifelong learner who's active in your local community and on an international basis. The themes we'll be looking at are identities, experiences, human ingenuity, social organization, and sharing the planet. Now, a lot of you might be a little excited or nervous to see how the external is broken up into components. So the external exam assessment exam <laughs> is three hours and 30 minutes. Paper one is an hour and 30 minutes. You're going to get to make a, make a choice from three options each with from a different theme, and you're going to choose a text type from among those listed in the, examinations, in, in the examination instructions. So you might write an email, you might like write a letter, you might have to write a set of instructions. It all depends. And this is where we'll be going over the different types of writing, the different templates that you can use, and you'll be practicing um, them throughout the course. Paper two is one that works on your receptive skills. There's a listening comprehension section and there's a reading comprehension section. Comprehension exercises will be on three audio passages and three written text drawn from all five themes. Okay, you'll also be taking part in an oral. This one is super important. Um, it's very similar to what you see in English A1 because they work on your skills to kind of come up not only with an analysis but how proficient you are in speaking english and how you can extend your thought and engage in these discussions and ideas for, for you to present what you've learned and the skills that you've accumulated across the course What are the type of texts that we'll be looking at? These are the nonfiction ones, of course, blogs, diary entries, emails, personal letters, um, advertisements, films, speeches, uh, many things. It's really cool. I really love this part um, in the course and in the IB, their attention to nonfiction texts, because we use these on a daily basis and we see them around us on, and on a daily basis. Literary work requirements. So remember how I told you guys we have to read two literary works. It can be a collection of short stories. It can be a novel as well. Um, we'll be discussing which ones we're going to start with, which ones we're going to do on our first throughout our first week of the course. So I want to know what you guys are interested in. Um, I'll also let you know what we have planned out. Um, we'll be discussing this in more detail. So this is what we'll also be basing our oral presentation on as well. Okay, helpful resources, there's a bunch under the unit one resources and the course resources. These will increase as we go along while we're engaging in the assignments. The most important two for me right now are, um, are you know, of course we see, right? In Thinking and Owl Purdue. Owl Purdue I, might be familiar to some of you. Um, it's where we look at MLA citation and in general, it gives us frameworks for writing, especially for the nonfiction texts. There's also IB notes and um, the actual past paper um, uh, bank, the past paper bank, the IB question bank. You should be making use of those as well throughout the course, but I'm here to help. Um, I'll help you, I'll guide you to you know some helpful resources English B's textbook is great in that. And we'll all share what we come across together as well. Okay, um, getting in touch with me, you'll find my email on the contact me section on the BC page. If you still you know, have any more questions, we can set up a time for us to meet 
or we can have a quick chat, you know, um, before or after class, if you don't have a period or if you have a free block, we can figure that out. I look forward to seeing you guys in person and getting to know you guys more. And I hope you have a great, great year. Um, and thank you very much.